What up, family? I don't be going live on this no more. I need to start going live more. What's happening, family? That's my favorite dream. <clears throat> Somebody say play victory lap. No, right now, man. They gonna cut it off. But listen, though, I was having a conversation about something that I find relevant. Um, I came up with this acronym for it's called PISSED. And it's called poverty induced stress trauma. And it speaks towards the fact that, you know, most people, uh, financial situation causes trauma almost the same as like physical violence. And there was a study on this. You feel me? Coming from like poverty, you know, stricken situations, it's the same as like having PTSD. You feel me? Or like the same kind of stress and anxiety that happens. You know, growing up in like, or being in like a domestic abusive situation. And it's really bad because I see so many people that can't think right, can't like function in reality in life because you got so much goddamn poverty induced stress and trauma. And that's our people. We fight at each other like we be counting each other pockets because we don't want somebody else to have too much. And we feel like, oh, you got enough. Now it's my turn. It's like, dang. Dang. No, nah, it's, 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 it's a sickness. And I'm doing a whole study and I'm going to do a whole breakdown on this because we got to be able to break out of these chains in order to get to where we want to be. And the mental violence in which we push on ourselves and the pressures that we have every day to elevate our situations, even when there's not opportunities, requires us to think outside the box. But the box is getting smaller and smaller and it's closing walls on us. You feel me? So this is why financial literacy, leadership, you know, personal development, you know, these things are important to me because, and technology, because we have to give ourselves opportunities that weren't given to us. Every single day, we got to wake up and make a plan and make something happen. Every single day, you know, I see way too many people dying while they living because they don't know how to live. And there's an art of living, but it requires your mind to be in a peaceful place to exist, to even think in a step-by-step situation. I just got done filming a master class, and I was just talking about the PAM system, the performance and measurement. Like, how do you put yourself in a situation where you can even measure your performance to even count your growth to know that you're making steps along the pathway in life? You feel me? This is not something like somebody ain't never set me down and, like, gave me the keys and just taught me this. I had to go out and search it myself, but I couldn't find it until I was comfortable enough to sit down and learn. And I know too many people that ain't even comfortable sitting down and learning because they stuck in survival. And survival will only get you level one thinking. And level one thinking is when you're stuck thinking about everything that you need, right? And that's how you operate throughout life with just level one thinking. I need this. I need that. I need this. Give me that. Give me this for me. Level one thinking is an ego is trapped. You know, and it's the human condition where you focus on self-preservation, right? Instead of productivity and growth. You feel me? And when you have the ability to go towards level two thinking, level three thinking, you start to think about your relationships. You start to think about the, the lives of others. Empathy starts to increase. You start thinking about network systems that you can create. Black people haven't gotten to network system creation, infrastructure, and systemization. So we stuck on the poverty uh, induced stress and trauma, which keeps us at a level one thinking. And this is why we can't think towards each other at all. You know, and that's this is this is why a lot of my work is focused on getting us out of level one thinking so we can become high level thinkers. You know? <laughs> but you have to and a lot of it is just it's it's simply a thinking right and that's the beauty of it is because if you stuck in your situation and you like yo what can i do if you automatically turn that thinking and be like you know what what can i do for others you automatically become a level two thinker right 
the moment you start saying, what can I do for others? How can I be of service? You're thinking about somebody else's needs outside of yourself. And now you having value inside a system. But we don't think about what we can do for others. We always think about what others can do for us. So we don't even serve each other. So when we don't serve each other, that means that we don't produce value for each other. So that means that we're worthless to each other. And that worthlessness has us treating each other in a certain way to where we discard each other because we discard things that don't have value. So we treat each other like we trash. You feel me? So there's a whole system of thinking when you draw it out and a lot of it is like going beyond your level. And in order to get there, you have to start asking certain questions and fine tuning your thinking. And you see people that have elevation in reality simply because of the way that they think. They don't just think about themselves. When people that solve problems for the world become billionaires because they start system thinking. They think about the webs of connections and networks that they can serve and how to create value. And the more value that they can create, right, the more value that they get and they get rewarded by that. So, you know, you have to, you, you, yes, you might not have the money you want. Yeah, you might, you might not be in the place you want to be. You might not have a career you want. You might not be mentally there where you want to be, you know. But try to think outside of your individual needs because it becomes this loop where you're just stuck in this trauma. But the moment you start thinking outside of self, you're going against your own condition to recondition yourself higher than what your needs are. trying to tell you and this is this is something that people of all different levels face with it's not just something that people who are financially poor face with right because the poverty induced stress and trauma is something that people even when you become financially well off you still have the trauma from when you were in poverty so unless you have a feeling of deservingness Right. You as a, a from a, a mental and a spiritual image that you have of yourself remains the same. You still feel like you are a poor person just with money. Peace. And all that does is it brings you right back to, to poverty Peace. and your actions and your habits and your beliefs and your ideas around your reality continue to be poor. And this is why we see people with money. They still act poor because they still have poor trauma. They get survival's guilt. They get all these different things. And so the stress that, that they have almost the same stress level as somebody, right, whose financial situation is 50% below them. So there's a healing mentally that we have to go to. So when we talk about financial literacy, yes, yeah, this buzzword, but in reality, right, we really talking about a holistic movement of attacking all of the issues that we have in prison solutions <laughs> so you know this is this is something that I need y'all to focus on man family to focus on I seen that brother logic uh, uh, complaining, not complaining, but giving a breakdown to his pops. You like pops, man. When y'all ask me for something, you not just act. There's, there's this effect that goes along with it. He like, then he said he got nine siblings. I can relate. I got nine siblings, but he said, yeah, we asked me to buy a house. Mom asked you to buy my buy a house. My sisters and brother asked me to buy. He start breaking it down. He like, man, by the time I saw said and done, that's like six, seven million dollars. And some family. Hey, okay, okay. <laughs> but it's serious. The, the stress of being successful in a family where nobody else is financially successful can bring you more stress than being one of the impoverished in the family. Because at least y'all all connecting and get along and people don't look at you differently. But once you disconnect, they looking at you as more. <laughs> Black people get it tough, man. You could be more stressed out than the people who got it because your expectations is high. Now you don't want to let people down. And 
The reason other people don't have what you have is because they don't have the empathy you have, which requires a different perspective of serving others and putting yourself in other people's shoes. So they can't even think of your issues and problems because they too focused thinking on their needs. Level one thinking.